hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're all are doing well so in today's video i'm gonna show you guys a get ready with me wedding edition i'm gonna show you guys my skincare routine how i did my hair and my two outfits and hope you guys all enjoy so first of all as all the guys have to do especially me as an asian i have to shave my beard now honestly shaving is very important because you need to make sure that you are well groomed after that i like to use my trusty l'oreal paris pure clay detox mask this is one of my favorite masks and i like to use it and i like to leave it for a good 10 minutes and to get rid of all of my pores also i dyed my hair now i have used the john feeder brilliant brunette forming colors and now i have used this coloring in the past and i love it especially because it's a foam so it's definitely easy for everyone to use and i just love the color and i'm very um, happy with the results also i like to use a john feeder frizzies shampoo together with the john feeder frizzies forever smooth conditioner now these two are honestly life-changing and i really love it because they leave my hair very silky and smooth also i like to use the john frieda conditioner which comes together with the foaming color and the pack to keep the color protected and i like to use any shower gels which i have in the house and this one is like an imperial leather coconut one and for body lotion i like to use a fancy chloe love story body lotion i know it's a ladies body lotion but honestly the smell is insane once shower and hair is done i like to do my skincare i have used the la roche posay effeclair face wash underneath the shower i haven't filmed it because i've used it in the shower together for the way face wash i like to use the la roche posay effeclair toner to keep my pores very tight and also to cleanse my skin especially if you have used any shampoos and stuff you might have it on your face hanging around so i like to pat it on a cotton pad like this to very keep in all the product on my face Together, I like to use the La Roche-Posay Effeclair Moisturizer as well. What I really love the moisturizer is because the texture is like a primer. And honestly, I've noticed such a huge difference around my nose area to uh, reduce the redness. Also, I like to use a Garnier Eye Cream, which is one of the Skin Active range. Once skincare is done, I like to do my hair using the Mark Hill Perfect Blow Dry Spray. To, it has heat protection, then I like to use my Babyliss hair dryer uh, to make like a blow dry on my hair. Especially I love this hair dryer together with the blow dry spray because it gives instant volume and also my hair was very very soft and shiny and very healthy as you can, can see. Then I like to do a little bit special on my face. I have used the collection brow palette. This is amazing because it has a dark and a light color. So what I like to do is fill in my brows using the lighter color at the front and the darker color at the back so to make it like an arch and also it creates a nice dark um, kind of dimension to my brows. Then I like to go with the Soap & Glory Archery Brow Pencil or Brow Pen. It is amazing because it has one side the brow product which I have used and loved and on the other side it has the most perfect brow gel on earth. I like to use it on my brows. Honestly if you use it your brows will stay on tact and they won't gonna move throughout the night and I just love it. Also they are gonna give your brows a little bit of a tint which is amazing as well. Then I like to use a clear brow gel which comes together with the collection brow palette on my eyelashes. Now I have natural very long eyelashes but honestly using this it makes them extra long and you guys can see compared to my right eye that the left eye has more more volume and looks more awake. Then I like to use the NYX HD concealer underneath my eyes. Now. I know guys, my face expression is very funny, but trust me, I'm not the only one who does funny face expressions. I like to use this concealer because 
this concealer is very pigmented, very rich in color and the texture of it is very kind of thick so you just need a little bit of the concealer and I like to use my Real Techniques Miracle Sponge to blend it in because the Miracle Sponge is amazing and honestly it gives like a very natural, very flawless end results. For the coverage aka for the foundation, yes I did wear foundation on the wedding, I wore the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation, now honestly this foundation is very raved, very hyped up and honestly it is wonders to everything. You just need a tiny tiny bit of amount which I have applied on my cheeks, on the areas which is a little bit more red, on my nose and on my forehead and if you use like the right tool which is a, a makeup brush or which I use which is my uh, beauty sponge which is the Real Techniques one it gives the most perfect and the most flawless finish on earth now I really like to take my time very blending it in on my skin in order to create a very flawless very man like makeup look because honestly I didn't want it to make it very obvious that I'm wearing makeup I just wanted to keep it very flawless very natural and there we go this is the final result I'm very happy with it it was very flawless very not too much it's just a little bit of a cover on the skin and I think it's just fine at the way it turned out once that's done, I like to show you guys my outfits that I wore. Now for outfit number one, I have chosen my top man skinny foot blazer because it is one of the just basic blazers which goes with everything and top man does these blazers every year so I'm pretty sure you will still find those blazers because I got mine last year. So I have chosen this black blazer together with a very special kind of color trousers which are these stone or kind of beige color trousers now these are from next tailoring and i really like these because they're a skinny fit on the leg and they go perfectly with the black skinny fit blazer with top man it creates a very nice contrast between the light color trousers and with the black blazer together i wore a very statement silk shirt from asos now i really like the shirt because it has florals all over it and it's very lightweight very flowy not too much on your face but still a very, very statement shirt which i really liked and for the accessories i have just chosen a very basic plain belt now this is just a pure 100% leather belt from next i really like it because it's just very plain very simple and it goes really nicely with the black blazer from top man and with my shirt as well and it's just amazing and for the shoes i have chosen these suede casual slash formal shoes which is also from next i really like them they're very comfortable and uh, they go perfectly with the outfit it's not too formal because i didn't want it to make the whole outfit too formal as my shirt is very floaty and lightweight casual as well and overall the old outfit is very casual slash formal as well really loving the shirt and the trousers and there we go this is me wearing the outfit now as i said this shirt is just the showstopper because it's from the my fabric silk and together with the stone trousers it creates a very kind of summer slash a wedding outfit and there we go there is the belt as well not too much on your face and here are my shoes as well now I really liked it it was very casual very um, nice to wear on a wedding day now moving on with outfit number two now this suit is honestly one of my favorite colors that i've worn in a very long time it is from zara now currently it is on sale i believe i'm gonna link it down below if i can i really like this suit because i got so so many compliments on that day it is a slim fit suit now the trousers and the blazers are also slim fit it is just amazing i really like the color it's just one of those blue colors together i wore a crisp 
white shirt which is from next i thought let me wear like a light color shirt to make the whole outfit more like summer appropriate and which was very nice and together i wore a tan color belt now this belt is from next as well now i really like to wear contrasting accessories with this blue because i just love it like that and for the bow tie i wore a very special bow tie which I ordered from ASOS but it is from Ted Baker. Now I found the most perfect color matching bow tie which goes perfectly with the suit from Zara. Now the color was honestly perfect together with the suit and it was a very pricey one however it was worth it because I really liked the bow tie. Together I wore these ASOS loafers which is in the color 10 now they go perfectly with the next belt which is also in the color 10 and together they, they, they make a very matchy outfit and as I said I really like the tan color together with the light blue sky uh, blazer and trousers from Zara now I really like to have a contrast and honestly these shoes are so so comfortable I highly highly recommend them to you guys and they're very inexpensive and as I said I'm gonna link them down below together with all of the items that I have mentioned. And here we go there I am wearing the outfit now honestly I got so so many compliments wearing these because the light blue is was a very unusual color and honestly I was standing out from the crowd because nobody wore a light blue sh a kind of blazer and suit so there we go there I am wearing the blazer and I was very happy with the color they have chosen and there we go this was to get ready with me and the outfits and also I was very happy with my hair I hope you guys all liked it do let me know what you guys have think do let me know if you guys liked any of the outfits thanks for watching until next time I will see you all in the next one bye